Greetings and welcome to us all in the name of our Lord and our Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome to this time of devotional worship for Friday the 22nd of October. Psalm 139 verse 14, it says, I praise you because you are to be feared. All you do is strange and wonderful. I know it with all my heart. Psalm 139 verse 14, Psalmist says, I praise you because you are to be feared. All you do is strange and wonderful. I know it with all my heart. God has given to us this new day, a day that we should use wisely. So may this day be a joyful, may it be a peaceful day in your life. The theme for our the devotion today is stop comparing yourself to others. Stop comparing yourself to others. The first Bible passage comes from Exodus chapter 20 verse 17. Exodus chapter 20 verse 17 are these words. Do not desire um, another man's house. Do not desire his wife, his slaves, his cattle his donkeys, or anything else that he owns. Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Do not desire another man's house. Do not desire his wife, his slaves, his cattle, his donkeys, or anything else that he owns. Theme for today's devotion. Stop comparing yourself to others. We all make this mistake either for ourselves when you compare yourself to someone else or you do this with your siblings, your kids, where you compare your kids to other kids. The problem when you do this is you will always feel like you are never as good as the person you are trying to compare yourself with or you are trying to compare someone else with. But then ask yourself this question. Were you ever meant to be as good as the person you want to compare yourself to? Does it really matter that so-and-so may earn more or is always happy or has more friends or drives a more better-looking car? Or has more things to you than or, or has more things than you? Does it really matter? Because when you think this way and you compare yourself, then you are doing exactly what the tenth commandment of God says that we should not do in Exodus chapter twenty verse seventeen. You want or desire something that doesn't belong to you. I'll ask you a question. When God created you, didn't God make you good enough to be yourself? Because there are things, skills and talents that you have that someone else doesn't have. So comparing yourself to someone can create an unrealistic expectation on your part. When you compare yourself to someone, you can prevent yourself from fully developing the gifts that God has intended for you to use. So stop comparing yourself to others. Because when you keep doing this, it makes you want something that belongs to someone else. It lessens your confidence and faith in believing that God has given you certain gifts and talents that are good enough to be used for God's work. So stop comparing yourself to others. The second Bible passage comes from Galatians chapter 1 verse 10. The Apostle Paul says, Does this sound as if I am trying to win man's approval? No, indeed. What I want is God's approval. Am I trying to be popular with men? 
If I were trying to do so, I would not be a servant of Christ. Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, the Apostle Paul says, Does this sound as if I'm trying to win man's approval? No, indeed. What I want is God's approval. Am I trying to be popular with men? If I were still trying to do so, I would not be a servant of Christ. The theme for today's devotion, stop comparing yourself to others. Before Paul became an apostle of Jesus Christ, he was known as Saul from Tarsus. He was well educated in the laws of Judaism. He was a Pharisee. Pharisees obeyed the law completely. They made sure people saw their good behavior and it impressed people because they were so righteous. When Saul became a Christian, his name changed to Paul. And it wasn't easy for Paul to convince people that he, he was a Christian because of his past. Some mistook his efforts for wanting to become popular, but Paul quickly corrected them. His one and only reason for being a missionary was to serve Christ. His motivation for being a servant was to serve Jesus Christ. He was not trying to be popular or seeking people's approval or wanting to be more popular than others. No, it was all about doing God's work. You see, there were others who were prophets and people who were also preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Some of them were true. Others were false prophets who gained popularity because they liked to charm people. Paul didn't compare himself to others. He only wanted to serve Jesus Christ. Seeking God's approval was all he needed. If the Apostle Paul compared himself to others, his mind would have been focused on wrong things. He would have tried to be someone he was not. He would have copied someone else's faults. He would have made the person or persons he was comparing himself to himself, he would have made that person his idol. Instead, Paul only focused on Jesus Christ. Jesus was his role model, nothing else. Maybe you are doing this, comparing yourself to others. And maybe it's time for you to stop doing this. Because you are giving someone else too much influence over you. But let God be your biggest influence in your life. Stop comparing yourself to others. Let us pray. Your holy word, Lord God, is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. It breathes life and strength into our lives. It renews our hearts and our minds every day. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace and mercy is sufficient for us. Bless all workers, all students, all those who are sick and need your healing mercies, Lord God. Protect us in all that we do today. May what we do be done for your glory and for your honour, Lord God. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen. Please continue to obey the rules of the level that we are in, and we shall see you again tomorrow.